Hello everyone, it's Daniel, Modern Identity Lead from Formula 5. In this video, we are going to talk about application roles with Microsoft Entra External ID. As always, it's good to start with a little bit of theory. So, what are application roles in Microsoft Entra External ID? Let's start with Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC. I'm pretty sure you heard this term before. So, Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC, is a common way to manage user permissions in applications. So, RBAC, in general, is the simplest authorization model you can use for your applications. Developers set up roles, and then administrators assign these roles to users or security groups determining what content and features they can access in the application. Okay, so now moving forward, what are the examples of application roles? Those can be really different. It can be a doctor, it can be a patient, like in the context of our Formula Healthcare demo application, as you can see on the right side. However, you can define many different kinds of app roles, like global administrator or manager. So, it's, it strongly depends on your scenario, application solution, and requirements. So, you can define different kinds of roles and then assign those roles to specific users and security groups in Microsoft Entra External ID. Okay, so now, when it comes to Microsoft Entra External ID, it allows defining application roles for applications and assign those roles to users and security groups, as I mentioned before. The role assigned to a user or security group defines their level of access to the resources and operations in the application. So you can basically look into the role claim and decide where a specific user will be able to execute specific operation and access specific functionality in your application. Okay. So now let's dive in a little bit more into technical details, because the question is how we can pass information about those roles to the application so it can make authorization decisions. So it's all about the security tokens. The name of the roles assigned to a user or group in Microsoft Entra External ID are emitted in the security tokens role claim. So. In this specific example on the left side, you can see the coded ID token and information about the roles. So in this specific uh, scenario, user has only one app role assigned, which is doctor. And obviously roles can be included in both ID and access tokens, because there is some confusion. Uh, many people ask about it. Hey, can I assign app roles and then include this information about the assigned roles in not only ID token, but also in the access tokens that are used with my APIs or resources. Yes, you can do it. So basically information about the roles is included or can be included in both ID and access tokens when it comes to Microsoft Entra external ID. Okay. The next thing is, what is the difference between application roles and security groups? Because I'm pretty sure when it comes to security groups, you heard about them in the past, or probably you used them in a standard Microsoft Entra ID tenant. So now you can be confused about application roles. So let's discuss this too. So when it comes to application roles, they are specific to an application and they are defined in the application registration. So they are specific to application registration in Microsoft Entra external ID. They cannot be shared across applications. So if you design, if you define app roles in one application, like Formula Healthcare Portal, you cannot share those roles with any other application registered in Microsoft Entra external ID. App roles are removed when their application registration is removed. That's very important. So when you define app roles under your app registration in Microsoft Entra external ID, and you remove this application, delete this application, App roles will also disappear. And the last thing is that app roles are provided in the roles claim in the ID and access tokens. On the other side, we have well-known security groups. So they aren't specific to an application, but to an external tenant. 
So you define those security groups globally in your Microsoft Entry External ID, and you can use them among different kinds of applications. So it means that one security group can be used by multiple applications registered in your Entry External ID tenant. Groups remain intact even if the application is removed. So security groups are independent of, of, of uh, app, app registrations, basically, in Microsoft Entra External ID. So even if you delete app registration in Microsoft Entra External ID, security group will remain there. And last thing, obviously, information about the security groups is provided in the groups claim in the ID and access tokens. Okay, perfect. So now it's time to see it in action. Let's start in Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So here is my Entra External ID tenant and Formula Healthcare app registration. From the left side, let's click App Roles. This is the place where we can define application roles. We can do it by clicking Create App Role. But, but as you can see, I've already defined two app roles, Patient and Doctor. Let me show you the Doctor one. So as you can see, under the display name, there is a name for this specific app role, which is doctor. And below, I can decide to which member types I can assign this specific app role. So I can assign this role to users and security groups, to applications or both, users, security groups and applications. In this specific scenario, I want to use the first option because I will assign those app roles to users. Under the value, I can provide the value that will be included under the roles claim in the ID and access tokens. So here I have the doctor, but lowercase. And under description, I can provide the description of this specific app role. So doctors have the ability to review the scheduled visits for all patients. And I can obviously enable this app role for this specific application. So once it's selected, I can click apply and this specific app role is created here. Great. So once again, under app roles in app registration tab, I define two application roles. So now let's discover how to assign those app roles to specific users or customers to be more specific in my Entra external ID tenant. So let me open enterprise application section and here formula healthcare enterprise application so every time when you create app registration in microsoft entra external id enterprise application or service principal is created for you underneath so that's why under enterprise applications i can access formula healthcare enterprise application when i select properties as you can see, there are different kinds of properties for this application, but the property I'm really, um, I'm really interested in is assignment required. It's set to no. In the, and it, this is very important to understand. So in, in the standard Microsoft Entra ID tenant, obviously, you want to have it enabled. So you want to assign specific applications to a specific users because obviously not all the users from the standard Microsoft Entry ID tenant should have access to different kinds of applications. And obviously the same concept is valid for Microsoft Entra external ID. So you can say, hey, this specific application it will be available only for this set of users. However, in our scenario, I disabled assignment. Okay. So anybody can just create account and sign in to access this application because here we more focus on the customer scenario so there will be no assignment perfect so now under users and groups what i can actually do i can assign those app roles to a specific people so even if app assignment is disabled i can still assign app roles to specific people in my tenant so in this case customers. So as you can see, for myself, I have the doctor role assigned. And for Kartik, I have patient role assigned. How I did it? Basically, you have to select add user and group. And from there, you have to select specific person or people or security group, and then assign a specific app role. So let me select some user here. Let's select Nikki, let's say. And under 
select a role, as you can see here, I can assign a specific app role to this specific user. So if I click doctor, Nikki will be assigned doctor app role. And you can also ask, what about the situation where you don't want to assign any app roles to users? That's fine, because, because of the fact that we disable uh, assignment to this specific application, you have this option to either assign specific app roles to specific users or not. So you can say that the standard user will, don't, will not have any app roles. And also you can say, hey, all the basic accounts will have patient role assigned and only specific people, doctors, will have a role called doctor assigned. Great, so now let me show you how it can work in the application. So let's see how to display information about the app role in the application. So first of all, as I mentioned before, you can decide to which user you want to assign specific app role. And if you do not assign any app roles, users can still access your application. It strongly depends on your needs. So first of all, I will sign in with the user without any assigned app roles. And as we can see, I don't have any information about the app role displayed here for Nikki. Great. So now let me sign out from this portal. And what I will do, I will sign in as Kartik in this specific scenario. And as we can see here in the top left corner, Kartik is signed in as patient. Why? Because in the roles claim in the ID token, Kartik has patient information, patient role to be more specific. Why? Because in the Entra External ID portal, I assigned this patient app role to, to Kartik basically. So now let's sign out and let's sign in with my account. So Daniel K account and let's check my role. Perfect. As we can see, sign in as doctor. So in this specific scenario, my app role in, in this application is doctor. And now you can ask, okay, so what's next? So from now you can make authorization decisions within your application. Because for instance, standard patient uh, with the patient role, so the user with patient role, can access different kinds of sections here, like make an, an appointment, get a prescription, generate medical report. However, when a doctor is signed in, so the user with the doctor app role assigned, this specific person can access additional features in the application. So for instance, doctor can display a list of all the patients. Doctor can see, you know, like the schedule for all the patients. Uh, doctor can manage, you know, like schedule for nurses and so on and so forth. So this is how you can basically use app roles in Microsoft Entra External ID. Great, that's it about app roles in Microsoft Entra External ID. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you still have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me directly using my email address currently displayed on the screen. I also strongly encourage you to check our Formula 5's External Identities Hub architecture. This is our solution and accelerator to enhance and accelerate building modern SIAM solutions with Microsoft Entra External ID. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.